Well, it's 8.47 at night and we have an emergency service call on Saturday. Pregnant lady's having her baby in the hospital and is coming home and needs it to be cool inside and that's why we are here because we do not like little babies in the heat. So we're going to see what's going on. It said no blower, so we're going to check that out. All right, what we have here is an old Goodman air handler. Uh, an A36-10 from 1988 and the complaint was there was no fan. Uh, I walked in the door and the fan was going so something got lost along the way as far as communication. Uh, the fan's fine. In fact the fans probably run constantly and that's probably what they were trying to say. Uh, the problem with the fan that it was running all the time. And the reason was the cooling's running and there's 24 amps being pulled by the air handler which means the heat strips are locked on. Now this relay here, our old friend from Goodman from the 1990s and back into the 80s, gets stuck a lot and it has a lot of problems. A lot of them have to be changed out. Uh, in fact, I changed one out earlier today, believe it or not. So I'm going to go get a six pin blower relay from my van and change this one out and see if we can get it going that way and see if that does the trick. Uh, hopefully so. A nice simple one here since it's so late at night I can get on home. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take this one off and uh, put the six pin on and see how it goes. Here's the relay I'm going to replace it with. It's just a regular relay. I'm sure everybody's seen this before. See the diagram on the side. One set of normally closed contacts, one set of the normally open ones. And these ones right here on the end are normally open. And when the coil's energized with the fan, they'll close and send, blower, uh, send the blower the power. Uh, and I'll have the heat strips set up on this terminal. So and then they'll jump across, so whenever the heat strips, if they're locked on or they're on, it will also send the blower the power. Uh, that way you have a safety cutoff or what would be a safety uh, override, I guess. The blower will continue running if the heat strips are locked on, so there's no danger of fire or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and wire this one up, and uh, we'll be on our way, hopefully. First thing we're going to do is take the coil voltage, which is this green wire and the two commons on the bottom, you see down here. I'm going to remove both of those and put them on the one and three terminals of the six pin relay here. And that's what we'll do first. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is take these normally open contacts, which close when the coil voltage is energized, and we're going to hook up the blower wires there, the red and black that go across this uh, blower relay. The last one we'll hook up will be this brown that goes to the heat strips, and we'll do that in just a minute on the other terminals. But we're going to hook up the, brown, the uh, black and red first to the normally open terminals. The next thing we're going to do is, I, I see I put a, a double pin here. I'm going to jump it across over to here. So when the heat strips run, it will also run the blower as a safety precaution. Alright, so our relay is all wired up. What we got is this. On the far side we have common and this green wire is a 24 volts for fan and when it energizes these two close. Power flows from here into the fan lead. It also is jumpered across to the other side where it goes nowhere because these two contacts are open. Whenever it's off these two close and if the heat strips are energized it runs from the sequencer up here, down here to the relay, and jumpers across to the fan and starts the fan. So the heat strips can never run when the fan's not running. And that is a safety precaution. So now we're going to start her back up and see if the heat strips are not running and everything's running as it should. Well, I was sitting here and I was thinking, this thing's from 1988, so I went ahead and tested the blower or run cap too, and it was weak, so we'll go ahead and change that. Since we're already up here, and might as well save ourselves a visit up here again in the middle of the night. So we go ahead and change out to 7.5 and have a new one. So we don't have to worry about uh, that sucker kicking out some random time during the summer. But, uh, let's go ahead and test that air handler out. Well, 1.9 amps means there's no heat strips running now, which is good news. The relay is working like it should. Uh, all that's blower, so that 1.9 amps is coming directly from the blower. If we look at the old chart here, it says 3.5 amps on the blower, so we're nowhere near too much, that's for sure. And uh, 
I'm not quite sure which speed this is, but black's usually high. But uh, this is an awful old unit, so I don't know. Um, but like I said, A36-10. That's uh, the old Goodman air handlers that had the heat strips already loaded on them. Uh, that's where the 10 comes from, is 10 kW. Uh, A36-36,000 BTUs, which is a 3 ton. And you see the letters there on Goodman. It's still the same to this day. The 88 at the beginning is the year, and the 01 is the month. So it's the 88th year in the first month, so January 1988. And some of our techs weren't even born yet. Well, then there's the two rows of strips, 4.8 kW and 5 kW, a nominal 10. It's our new relay. You see back there is a transformer still going after all these years. Heat sequencer. The old heat strip, you can see where it's rusted out a little bit, probably a little condensation over the years. The old lugs look kind of rough there too. But 1988, it's going to look rough. I had to pull some of the insulation out of the inside of this thing and uh, use baffles to screw it to the top of the air handler because the blower was sucking the old insulation out of it. And uh, So that's what I was doing last time I was here, among other things. But I think we're good for today. 1.9 amps is good news, so it looks like we're uh, good to go. So I think I'll call it a day, go home, and go to bed. Till next time.